marketing at Leafi, and today we're going to be talking about Leafi uh, and what we do. So we basically provide all of DeFi liquidity in one API. Uh, our core thesis and why we built the protocol is that the future of Web3 inherently will be multi-chain and made of several different blockchain ecosystems. And uh, for that, cross-chain bridging will play a major role uh, to enable the interoperability between these existing the chains. If we we're paving the way for them, you know, mass user adoption, the mean, the next billion users, the aggregation and abstraction of complex blockchain infrastructure has to be done. And this is what we are solving. So we were founded in 2021. Uh, so far we've finished our series A with more than 23 million in funding. Uh, current team size is about 45 people and we support about 20 blockchains and we're growing pretty fast. Uh, we have about 500 UK, 500K unique users more than a million uh, transactions, more than one and a half billion in transaction volume. And a notable uh, figure is that 90% of MetaMask's uh, cross-chain token swaps or, or bridge feature uh, basically goes through, uh, through us. So this next image kind of encompasses what we offer uh, and what we take care of for our integration partners. Um, on the left, you can see in the RPC calls, data simulations, DEX and DEX aggregators, bridges, and relayer networks. We have everything in our stack. Uh, and the right, it shows what you would have to integrate yourself um, if you didn't integrate LeFi, for example. And for us, uh, or for integration partners, uh, whatever, if you integrate an SDK, each part of the stack is very modular. So you can integrate our SDK, but choose only one DEX or integrate our SDK and choose only one bridge uh, that we're gonna talk about a little bit later. Uh, so our main use cases for wallets, for example, for swap tokens on, on any chains, for funds, um, especially the ones that are active on more chains, uh, rebalancing of their portfolios and their inventories uh, for dApps, you know, zaps, one-click deposits, staking, lending from any token and any chain combinations. For NFT marketplaces, you can buy an NFT with uh, any token or any chain uh, combination. And yeah, um, so... I think one of the most important topics uh, when we're talking about cross-chain is security and risk and how we approach it. Uh, so first, our mitigation strategies. Uh, we first of all offer multiple fallback options uh, because we have currently 17 bridges and 30 DEXs. So if one gets hacked, you or your users will always have a fallback option. In reality, you won't even know that basically a uh, hack happened. Uh, so we're kind of mitigating the contagion risk there. And because we're integrating different types of bridges, uh, we're allowing every integration partner to whitelist or blacklist different bridges based on their own risk profile. Um, but in general, different bridges and DEX designs, they have varying strengths and weaknesses. And by combining these strengths, uh, we effectively address uh, their limitations. On top of that, we have a very comprehensive due diligence. Uh, we've built a cross-chain risk framework with consensus, and there's four distinct categories that we're looking at uh, when we're thinking of integrating a bridge. First is the bridge architecture risk, uh, which is basically you know validation mechanisms, collusion risk, censorship resistance, permissionlessness, um, stuff like that. Then we have the bridge implementation risk, where we're looking at uh, what measures are taken to reduce risks. Uh, how does the team uncover extent risk, like formal verific verification, testing, audits, bug bounties, etc. cetera. Uh, then we're looking at bridge operational risk, which uh, is looking at how are private keys stored? Uh, what's the vulnerability resp response plan? Um, which actors have the ability to pause operations in a bridge, uh, et cetera. And then the lastly, team background, backing track record, uh, who invested in them, um, how communicative are they, and, and stuff like that, which kind of gets into our framework and positions the bridge somewhere on a trust spectrum uh, for us to decide if we're going to integrate. Um, Guys, we have uh, that, 45 seconds left. Awesome. Uh, on top of that, we're fully non-custodial. Uh, we're audited by Quantstamp, Sparebit, and Co Code Arena. We usually do an audit every three to four months, depending on the amount of deployments uh, we're doing. Uh, and on top of that, we have insurance uh, available on, on, on all transactions uh, that we partner with Insurace to build. Um, and in conclusion, we're the most security fit plugin in crypto. Uh, our superpowers, where we're playing with the interoperability through Lemma, allows us to be extensible and generalized, generalizable, not that trustless, but you can choose a trustless bridge to even hit on that, uh, that topic. So that would be who we are. Open for questions. Whoa, time 
perfect. Nailed yeah. it. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, you also received some kudos uh, from Sky Fishing Capital. Uh, they think you're a cool team and have a very important product. So uh, he's wondering. Thank you. Our pleasure, and we're from the health of Sky Vision. Can you, you explain more about the concept of font rebalancing? Yeah, so um, basically, you, let's say you have like a advanced cross-chain strategy you're doing uh, in Yield, right? Um, basically, what front-end protocols are doing on with walls for users. With us, you can basically use us to funnel your money around in different pools, and we can build tech for you that you just zap into different pools in and out uh, kind of seamlessly uh, with not a lot of human interaction uh, with regards to it. Uh, or you need to, you know, send somewhere money fast. You can do it on a different wallet, for example. So any type of like rebalancing that you would have as a fund, you can build it on our stack. It's, it's, it's super modular. So think of it actually this way. Let, let, let me explain it differently. You have uh, liquidity routing. You have arbitrary cross-chain messaging, basically. And you can batch one or two or more of one, more of two. So you can do wide area of different combinations of what your strategy depends on, basically. I hope that answered uh, the question. Absolutely. That sounds seamlessly remarkable. Thank you so much. Uh, Susie, do you have a question from your side? Yes. Dima from 3X. Thanks for all the questions, Dima. Appreciate it. Uh, he just wants to know a little bit more about uh, the roadmap. So we're opening up. So our next, we're currently on EVM ecosystem, and our next stop uh, first is Solana, which is already available through API. In about two months, it's going to be available through SDK and our, on our uh, B2C UI. Uh, after that is native Bitcoin support, uh, so basically integrating Thor. And after that is uh, moving to Cosmos or opening up uh, Cosmos for that matter. Um, that's kind of in the short term roadmap. Long term, we're thinking really hard where the industry is going, um, intense, uh, where liquidity bridges are going to be, you know, with the rise of stablecoin bridges, current liquidity networks are not, don't really have maybe a, 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 a nice future in front of them. So like, how do we front run that, um, which is still an open question. Fair enough. Great answer. Well, thank you we for clarifying. Have, we have, have a couple one, minutes left. So. Yeah, we have one question. Let's try to answer that quick. It's from Mindfulness Capital. Yeah. What is the key differentiators comparing to other DeFi aggregators such as Aave, Unify, X? Uh, that's more like a marketplace instead of an aggregated. Um, I, I can repeat what the product what project was. Is Aave Uniswap X? Do you have like... Oh, Aave Uniswap X. Yeah. yeah. So uh, basically, they are trying to do the intent part. Um, super cool protocols, but they're still going to need um, some type of, you know, some other product protocols are probably going to build the UIs. Uh, they're going to collect the intents. Uh, you're still going to need solvers. You're still going to need other parts of, of uh, the markets for these kind of to be fulfilled. Um, so we're looking at where do we position ourselves within that, but great protocols, nothing to, nothing to, uh, say against them. Loud and clear. Well, Marco, thank you so much for your remarkable showcase. We're moving on to the next one. Uh, wish you a great day. Thank you. Likewise.